It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. When I was younger, I used to watch like a lot of stuff on Cartoon Network. I used to watch stuff like Cow and Chicken, The Powerpuff Girls, all that jazz when I was younger. And to this very day, these are like some of my favorite shows ever because of that station. Also, Cartoon Network also introduced the Tanami Station, which pretty much had like a lot of anime like Sailor Moon or Dragon Ball Z. And to this day, I think that Tanami is still on Cartoon Network. And it actually has like a lineup of much more mature anime for that um, station. However, more recently, they decided to become woke because apparently they started to make like these sort of PSAs about like how you should be anti-racist. And so, without further hesitation, let's uh, take a look. When you see color and the history that comes with it, you can recognize the real racism plans on culture and appreciates everyone's diversity. The Crystal Gem says be anti-racist. Visit crystalgemspeakup.com, hashtag seven universe, hashtag anti-racism, and hashtag Cartoon Network. So yeah, this video is definitely gonna be very interesting to watch. So yeah, let's uh, play the video and I'm gonna get my personal reaction to all of this. Or purple? What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, exactly. That's the whole entire freaking point. Because if you happen to be different skin color, you have to treat other people exactly the same as you would treat yourself. And so that's the message for the song. Like when people say it doesn't matter if you're black, white, or purple, that means I'll treat you the same no matter what. So even if you're a freaking alien from outer space, I'll treat you the same as anyone else. Hold up a minute here. Ugh, who wrote this? I, I think it kind of does matter that I'm purple. I mean- No, it doesn't. It does not matter if you're purple. If you happen to be purple, it doesn't really matter like what you are. To me, the content of your character is much more important than if you're purple or whatever kind of skin tone. I mean, I'm purple because I'm literally an alien. Well, I'm not an alien, but it definitely matters to me that I'm black. No, it does not matter if you're black. To me, what matters to, to me at least is that you're, you know, a nice person, that I could be friends with you. It literally does not matter if you're freaking black. It doesn't. Yeah, it makes a difference that I'm white. It doesn't make a difference that you're white either. It does not. I'm white. I know the two of us get treated very differently. Well, that kind of part is true, because so far as far as the legal sense, like obviously we have the Civil Rights Act of 1964, but as of rightly, like of course, like a lot of companies and even the government right now is using critical race theory to make sure to undo all that kind of progress. So it's pretty natural just to hate on white people with these sort of called like anti-racist training that's done by critical race theorists like, you know, um, Robert D'Angelo and also that other guy that made the book How to Be Anti-Racist. And so it seems as though that we're getting more favoritism towards minorities, towards blacks, towards Hispanics, towards anybody else except for white people. Because it's perfectly fine to just discriminate on white people and white people only. So, yeah, very nice times that we're living in right now. I just think it's messed up to compare me being an alien to you two being different races. You're... Well, the thing is, people are not comparing, like, comparing, like, you to humans. Like, the thing about it is, no matter who you are, we're gonna treat you all the same. Like, how hard is it so hard to, like, you know, understand this sort of concept? Because the whole entire point is to basically treat you the same both human. You're, you're totally biologically the same. Adding purple people into a lesson about human racism makes no sense. Yeah, yeah that's that is pretty, pretty weird. weird. This is what happens when you try to, you know, take things too literally. Really. The whole point is like, you know, I'll treat you the same no matter what. I think people like the black, white, or purple thing because adding a fantasy race in there helps distract from the actual racism black people have to deal with. The thing about, like, individual racism 
if that is true. Like, racism does in fact happen to anybody. So I think racism is like a universal thing. Because it's easy to hate on white people. It's easy to hate on black people. It's easy to hate on whatever. That's fine. But I think dealing with, like, individual acts of racism is a whole entire separate topic in comparison to treating people the exact same way. Because idealistically, we want to treat people the same way no matter who they are. Right. My experience with anti-black racism is really specific. Other people of color experience other forms of racism too. But you won't see any of that if you don't see color. That's stupid. That is literally stupid. Color blindness is different than trying to solve racial issues. Color blindness for the hundredth time while I'm doing this video is about treating people the same. Not treating the people the same is like a complete opposite of color blindness. How could you guys be so freaking st- Whatever. Dude, so this entire public service announcement could be a ploy to avoid talking about racism altogether. Are you fucking st No. No. Teaching color blindness, talking about racism, different things. Different things. Oh, look right now. I just freaking dropped the camera. Because you guys have to be so freaking stupid. So let me give me one second to just put my camera right here. Just one freaking second. And of course, the camera does not want to stay still because you guys are freaking bananas. Okay, the camera's back on the stand. But yeah, thank you so much for, you know, trying to knock my camera down by that stupidity. So let's continue on. Hey, uh, can we get a rewrite where we appreciate each other without erasing what makes each of us different? Okay, but it's gonna add a couple hours to the shoot. I can make yours open. Uh, you were rolling just now, weren't you? Can't we just slap some graphics on this and This is so stupid. Like, how can you possibly put, like, C color be anti-racist in the same thing? If you see color, then now, of course, you're gonna be anti-racist. It doesn't make any sense. Because, like, let's just put aside, like, the ideology for one minute, right? If you try not to be colorblind, obviously, you're not gonna be anti-racist. Because colorblindness requires you not to, you know, judge people on the race. But anyway, uh, this is the stuff that Cartoon Network wants to teach our kids for future generations. And of course, I feel more and more optimistic about the future in our country thanks to this sort of nonsense. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.